there's nothing like a clean, fresh, white piece of printer paper. You pick it up and you understand the possibilities are endless. You run your hand across it and you smudge it. Parents, kids are a lot like this paper. They're easily impressionable. Parents, you will smudge your kids. It's unavoidable. You will put your own personal views on your children. It's inevitable. But what you can do, parents, is you can teach them to paint over these smudges. Not avoid them, but make them their own. I was originally going to talk about female engineering. How the male-to-female ratio is extremely lopsided. How we shouldn't let that discourage young women from entering the field. But I got to thinking, why is that? Why is that happening today? And I realized it's the same reason why women of yesterday couldn't vote, couldn't go to school. Women were being stereotyped as the weaker sex. Do not stereotype yourself or others. By stereotyping yourself and others, you are stereotyping everything, including the future. In your lifetime, you've probably been stereotyped. I know I have. I've been stereotyped as the bubbly, not-so-smart girl. And every time it hurts just as much as the first, every time it makes me feel and think, am I really smart or am I just faking it? But I know I have to push those negative thoughts aside and embrace what really makes me happy, what makes me feel like I have somewhere where I belong. We need to stop stereotyping young women, especially when we ask them what they want to be when they grow up. And we offer suggestions like princess, nurse, a ballerina maybe. We need to teach them these are not their limited options. Don't get me wrong, please put some limits on your children. A three-year-old should not be watching Game of Thrones. But when you have a little girl, instead of just watching Angelina Ballerina, throw on some Bob the Builder too. And yes, the reason why I say those shows is because they were my jam from three to five. Parents, I don't think you understand how much power you truly have. In your child's horizon, you are the starting point. And if you're not careful, you will also be the ending point. So I have a little sappy story. I'm like talking cats in the cradle. So when I was little, all I wanted to do was build a birdhouse with my dad. That never happened. It was always pushed aside. It was always next week, not today. Zoe, it's winter outside. I'm just saying it'll be ready by spring. But it wasn't just that. It was, don't touch daddy's tools. They're not for you. They're not for you to play with, not for you to touch. And this baffled my young mind because I could use a hot metal rod to curl my hair, but I couldn't use a drill. I can use an exacto knife for arts and crafts, but I couldn't use a box cutter. I remember this one Christmas after break when everyone came in and the guys were bragging because they got their first toolbox and the girls were bragging because they got the new Barbie dream house. I could see the stereotypes that parents were putting on their children without even realizing it at such a young age. Parents, when you have a little girl and you ask them what they want for Christmas, and they don't respond immediately, do not offer suggestions, especially ones like makeup, a Barbie dream house, a Barbie convertible. Let them think for themselves. It's like asking what they want to be when they grow up and offering suggestions like hairstylist, makeup artist, fashion designer. You are risking shrinking their horizon by stereotyping. And if you've been paying attention at all, that's kind of a no-no. Lucky for me, my mother, she would not leave my horizon alone. She was always teaching me more, showing me new things. She taught me if I didn't fit into a category, I should create my own. If you don't know what you want to be, and you don't really fit into a job, create your own occupation. A hundred years ago, if I told people we would be walking on the moon and sending Teslas up there just for fun, they would look at me like I had 12 heads. Every year, there's new innovations, and with that come new opportunities. Why can't we benefit from them with a job? Parents used to say, when they talked to their children, you can be whatever you want when you grow up. The sky's the limit. 
But the key word there is limit. There is one. The sky. We need to change this. We need to tell them there are no limits. The sky, which was once a limit, is now an obstacle meant to be broken. Glass ceilings are already shattered and are now launch pads launching you to your future. As you are rocket rocketing to the sky of your future, look down and see all these broken ceilings. They broke for you. Women who came before us, like Molly Yard and Malala, social advocate warriors for us, broke their hands smashing through these ceilings for you. Honor that. Do not stereotype your future. Let's remove stereotypes from the future. I've been talking to the parents for a while now, and I would like to address the younger audience. Boys and girls, you are blank canvases right now with one or two smudges. You're at the start of your horizon. All you know is watercolors. Thin, easily removed, easily painted over. Boys, you're handed blue, and girls, you're handed pink. You don't really notice it now, you don't really care. But soon, your ca canvas will expand. Your watercolors will turn to oil paint, and the oil paint will not mix with your past. It will just go over it. Soon, there will just be layers and layers and layers, and you'll lose sight of your beginning. These colors, these paints, are the stereotyped roles. After a certain point, it's hard to get rid of your color scheme. People will try to tell you, stick to your color scheme. Saved it. We're good. People will try to tell you, stick to your color scheme. Soon, you'll be old and your oil paints will turn to acrylic and you'll be almost finished with your canvas. Girls, you'll reach for the blue, but at this point, it will mix with your pink and just make purple and it's hard to see the difference. After a certain point, it's hard to tell the difference. Don't use oil or acrylic paints. Stick to the watercolors. Stick to your beginnings. Paint outside the lines. The lines are there to guide you, not limit you. When you use watercolors and you paint over them, you can still see them. You can remember your past as you're looking towards the future. Boys. Use the pinks to paint your sunrises, and girls, use the blue to paint your sky. Boys, paint flowers, and girls, paint trees. Do not stereotype your future. Throw down your paintbrush, paint with your hands, paint on the walls, don't actually paint on the walls. Sorry, parents. <laughs> Just make a mess and enjoy life. You can let other people color on your canvas, too, but do not let them color over what you've already drawn because it's perfect. Do not stereotype your future. Girls, be engineers. Boys, be florists. This was probably one of the hardest things for me. How am I supposed to end when I feel like I have so much more to say? So I think I'll end with this. Picture. <laughs> I know, right? Adorable. <laughs> this photo is definitely worth a thousand words, but stereotyped is not one of them. I'll say this. Live your life like a little girl in a princess dress on a motor motorcycle. Because God only knows where she's going to end up. And that's perfect. That little girl, she's now 16. She wears combat boots with her dresses. People look at her and think God only knows where she's going to end up, and she knows that's perfect. She will not stereotype her future. She will not let the future be stereotyped. Thank you.